How's it going, everyone? It's Reversal Trader King, where I catch you guys precise bottoms and tops in the stock market. Um, today, I'm going to talk about um, BNED, Barnes & Noble, as it's halted for the day. It got halted around 1025, and we kind of expected this as it's just so low in price. When prices get this low and you start seeing it drop fast, they're, they're on to like a reverse split. So and we look at, if you're on Webull, you can go to um, the news up here if you're on computer, and you can see the symbol news, and you can see right in here, um, they're going through a leadership change and a reverse stock split, and you can just read through all this. But hence in this, we're going to look for um, what to do next after th this uh, is unhalted, and we'll see where this comes out. But um, yeah, it's it's really unfortunate how you know a lot of people did get sucked in at the upper band here. If you guys know my strategy, this is why I preach we will never buy at the upper band, especially for pennies. It, it, it I see it all the time. Right in here, price goes up and it goes down. You know, it even hits here, goes really down. We have the trampoline effect here, goes up, trampoline effect here, goes up, and then it just started plummeting down. Um, I do love below the EMA 20 trades, but there has to be a lot of time distance of the EMA 5 for me to want to take it, and it is best with more stable companies. My bread and butter type of plays are going to be at the bottom band bounce. These are going to be your more predictable when you see the ATR levels get hit like right in here. Um, these are really nice plays because what happens in not, these are extreme oversold territories. So what we're looking for is, you know, we're not trying to say and predict where price can go. Like no one can know that price would have went from 18 cents all the way to a buck 35. No one can do that. And if anyone tells you that, they're lying. We can only know what we see, what's in front of us. We are trying to be we're trying to predict the future, right? Which is extremely hard. So what we see is when price hits the bottom band, we do want to give it some time distance from the EMA5. And when you do that, if you look at this from one, two, three, four, the fifth daily candle is often a very nice candle or even the seventh, I, I recommend either one of those um, because the price has to hit the EMA5. We've seen it all the time. And so if you accumulate under the EMA5, oftentimes you get a correction to there with the EMA10 and then the EMA20. I use, I love the three EMAs. I know a lot of people were like, this is the weirdest way to use them, but it just, for me, it works. Because it's the only way to buy undervalued companies that are due for a correction to the reversion to the mean. I would never buy a company that has just been surging like this because I know, one, your stop loss can get hit really fast as we know pennies can go down 10% in a single minute. You know, these things have surged, you know, 152% next day is down, you know, 30%. It's just, that's just the nature of them. But as you can say, risk versus reward, there's a two-edged sword. They can go down fast, and that's what we're witnessing. We, we all like it when they go up, and then when they go down, yes, it's very depressing. But here's what here's what I'm seeing for the current analysis. Um, yes, I would yes, if you're gonna do this strategy, if you do stick to the bottom reversals, those are gonna be your safest play. But if you are going to trade the uh, stock that's under the EMA uh, under the bands and it's not at the bottom reversal of the ATR4, the best way to do it is honestly give it five daily candles below the EMA5. That is honestly the safest way to do it as I'm back testing a lot. Because as you can see, we hit the EMA5 here and we had a reversion to the mean. Well, if you look at this, this was a nice, nice move up from we have a 25 cent area all the way up to 39 cents. Massive, massive gain. Obviously, you weren't going to get the lowest of the wick here. But, uh, you know, if you even got some of this, you would have easily made 20, 30 percent easy. So and then it goes down and down and down. And you might have been cautious uh, to take some of these trades, but it's it, it wasn't the best because you got to give it time distance. And that's what I'm noticing. And then the next thing I want to realize it uh, tell you guys is when you're playing these kind of trades, any trades in the matter. You have to accumulate properly. Never be a hero and say, I am going to get the exact bottom and then nothing can be broken. Because we all have seen, you know, big major support levels. This is why I don't trade these kind of uh, style. Because we all seen support levels get broken. There might be another support level. You know, we'll see that get broken all the time low. It happens all the time. All these support levels. That's why I trade based on a unique way, using the band strategy. The band strategy is, my honest opinion, the best for trend reversals, catching undervalued stocks, and where you can properly accumulate without getting stop lost very fast, because with swing trading, we can let the play work out. If it goes down, let's just say, you know, you bought 
at this uh, candle here. It's down 30% today, and um, yes, it absolutely sucks. But with my accumulation rolls and the people who are watching in my Discord, you only do one ad a day. Just because if the market sucks, you know, you don't want to get in, in front of the, the uh, train of shorts, right? Because shorts are going to just take advantage of it. So what I'll, what I do oftentimes is I will look for the five minute, one minute, or any of that. And um, for example, for today, let's just say you took the trade uh, before it halted. I would take the trade right in here as it touches the lower band. But this is not a good trade because I also implemented we only take our trades at the end of the day. Let the market makers do their thing and, and, and we get in at the end of the day and reassess. Because there, there's a thing to know is... You know, at the end of the day, you can kind of see like, okay, you know, here's where the market took it. And um, you can place your trades at the end of the market near the five minute lower band touch or one minute, however you want to do. But often than not, these are your good entry signals. These are lower time frames, so they will revert to the EMA uh, 5, 10, and 20 faster than any other time frame. But as you can see, if you did get it right in here or even over here, whatever you wanted, they, there was a nice relief rally right in here from a low of 12 cents to 15. Nice, nice gain, right? But then it lost it all and then went tumbling down as we prepare for the reverse split. And all the reverse splits happen like this. They go tumbling down, they have a reverse split, and nine times out of the ten, they go down again, and then there's a rally. What I would like to see is one, two more, uh, two more daily candles just to be safe. If you miss out on the train, it's totally fine. But obviously, accumulate properly. I have a very nice accumulation rules. If you want to join my Discord, it's down below in the link. Uh, YouTube comments will be pinned. But I, I really talk about you know how to properly accumulate and um, how to look for the best risk versus reward trades. There's so many ways to do this strategy. Obviously, the bread and butter trades are going to be at your lower ATR on strong companies with like. Like, bigger the volume, the better. This had 23 million. It's averaging over a million volume. So it was a nice move up that we got. So there, there's a lot of things to know. I, I'm here for you guys. No one likes losing money. I totally I totally uh, get, get the emotions. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of negative comments. I totally get that. It, it's just, it is what it is. Trading is a two-edged sword. You know, you either, you either love it or you love it or you hate it. And that's kind of what pennies are. They're super emotional. You see you go down 10% just for it to go up 30%. And then you probably broke even when you were down 10%. And you're like, wow, I wish I would have held, right? They, they go super, super fast. But, you know, in this system is you will never catch. You would never be buying the very tops here. We buy below the, the, the bands down in here. Best case scenario is at the green band, color green for buy zone. And then we also look for a low KDJ, which is this indicator over here. And I teach all that in my Discord. If you guys want to join the premium Discord, it's only 6 bucks a month or $0.20 cents a day. And um, what, what you want to do is if you click the link down below into the YouTube comments, it'll be pinned. It'll say join the premium Discord for my alerts and system. And when you click that link, it'll take you to this free chat landing page. As you can see, when if your color, if your name is in green, like Kunit, he is a subscriber. He just joined Blue Banner. And you have access to all my tabs right here for $6 and future um, education I put in. Um, please read how to subscribe. Read Avoid Scammers. I will never message you first or DM you first, so do keep that in mind. And um, another thing is, if you want to subscribe, the easiest way to do it is just hit Premium Chat. I'll cut to the chase. And what basically is, it's only six bucks a month or 20 cents a day. And it, it's one of the best systems. And if anything goes wrong, at least you will know why price does the thing that they do. We, this strategy is based on using what does algos want to take it to. And I have an insane win ratio that it's just been working over the time. So it's very nice. And um, what you, you're going to love it. What you're going to get is RTK swing trades, um, reversal uh uh, RTK swing trades is basically my alerts with entries and exits in real time that you will get notified on your phone. Um, you get education videos. While well, I was just talking about how to properly accumulate my reversals, definitely watch that. My swing trading strategy, watch that. And then um, RTK journal is where you can find my trades with my averages um, and my wins and losses. And you, if you ever want to know what trades I'm in, you just re uh, refer to the RTK journal. Hope you guys really like this. Um, this is definitely a strategy that I've, you know, been developing for over six years and it has kept me in the market time after time again. It's led me not to buy up in the high areas right up in here. Um, I always look for near the lower band, bottom band of the ATR4, which is what this is, this bottom band. 
But um, if it doesn't go that way because the bands are so influctuated, I look for that five-day daily candle EMA five that has not get touched, lots of range to the upside, and then I, I would take a trade from there. Hope to see you guys uh, in the premium Discord, and I get it, guys. It, it sucks out there. You know, there's bright, sunny days out there. I'm here to help you guys, and I, I really want the best for you. Uh, nobody likes it when you're losing, and if anybody that does is not there for you, I want you guys to succeed, and nothing in life is perfect, but I'm telling you, you know, you can get, you know, precise entries, and you can understand what's a bad, you know, what's a bad entry, and you can know, okay, well, we can definitely control our risk management, and that's what the big thing is, is what I'm seeing with BMED, you know, because obviously you're not going to get the precise bottom, so how do we look for ways to look for uh, for entries and look for the reverse of the mean is what this strategy is about. So hope to see you guys in the premium discord. Much love to everyone watching. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment. I'll be looking for the rebounds play on BNED when it unhalts. And I, I kind of told you guys my game plan already of the five daily candles. And um, that's about it, guys. Uh, much love from everyone. And I'll catch you in the premium discord if you want to see me there. Peace out and happy trading.